on TTs welcome back to T's room today I'm back with another video so let's get straight into the news guys so on Monday afternoon NBA young boy got arrested for trying to shoot a music video in his hometown Baton Rouge Louisiana the person who called in was a concerned citizen and said that they were concerned because NBA young boy and his friends had GUNS's and a abandoned parking lot 16 individuals were arrested including young boy but since monday he has been released and he bonded all of his friends out of jail which was really nice now young boy say he does look forward to attending court the only unfortunate thing is that cops said they found some substances and they found some gunss they're unsure what the substances were it's still under investigation but if they find out that it was any type of D-R-U-G-S's, then young boy can be facing up to several years in prison. So let's keep our hands crossed and hopefully, you know, it wasn't anything harsh or it wasn't what the cops thought it was. Now, I think it was really nice that NBA young boy, you know, bonded all of his friends out of jail. A lot of people in the shade room teens were talking about how they friends would have just left them in there to rot. They would never even bonded them out. Out. but it's probably because your friends probably doesn't have nba young boy money now also they said they found 79 thousand dollars and a picture was released of all the money that was found on the scene and seventy nine thousand dollars that's a lot of money but we all know that nba young boy is balling he is a superstar at this point and of course those were his friends so of course he was gonna help them and bond them out anyways moving on to ruby rose and lala these two are still going at it now if you guys watched my video yesterday it was about how Lala made a video giving her side of the story about her and Ruby Rose's friendship and how her you know collabing with little TJ came about and why Ruby Rose felt some type of way now when Ruby Rose seen Lala's video of course she felt some type of way so she went to her insta story and she announced that she was going live on her only fans and needless to say people were mad that she was saying that she was was going on her only fans to say something because they felt like girl it's not even that serious for you to be charging people you know to tune in but needless to say some people actually paid to tune in birthday it's my birthday mm -hmm. yeah. i'm about to go on youtube live and do a live stream with wiz because our song is premiering and dropping tonight with the music video on YouTube at midnight and then after that I'm going to be going live on my only things to talk about girl I called my best friend just clear everything up because she's a weird liar and she just is I guess forgetting what's going on so I'm gonna clear it up so stay tuned now basically ruby rose what she was saying on her only fans was the same thing that lala was saying on her youtube it was basically the same story you know they were sharing dudes that's basically what i got from both of their stories they were kind of sharing dudes and a lot of people may looked at ruby rose story and how she was talking about oh lala just kept on following behind her and dating and messing with every guy that that she would mess with and say oh yeah that's the truth but when you think about it if you're friends with somebody and if you see them doing that and you continue to be friends with them at some point you were okay with her following behind you and messing with dating or sleeping with the guys that you were with that's obvious I'm pretty sure at some point in their friendship they started to have a conversation or probably a lot of times in their friendship they started to have conversations about the guys that they were both dealing with and 
to me, I definitely wouldn't be sharing guys with my best friend. I definitely think that's a little weird, but you know, maybe some girls can do it. Now, Lala today decided to go on live and to clear up some of the things that she felt like Ruby Rose was saying that wasn't true. And she even was talking about how her and DDG kissed at one point and how DDG was trying to get at her. Now, I was super surprised when Lala said that DDG was trying to date her and I don't know how DDG even feels about her saying that but yes she said that you know before two years ago when her and DDG were just friends he was trying to get at her and she had to tell him you know what it's not like that and she said that Ruby Rose even knew about DDG doing that to her so that definitely could have been why in that one video where they were going on a blind date ruby rose kind of denied ddg when ddg was trying to you know talk to her and get to know her or take her ruby out. rose was on her only fans talking about how she told lala that little tj had a big thing but he didn't know what to do with it and i don't know why that had anything to do with why they're not friends anymore i guess she's trying to say that as oh she still wanted him after I tell told her how it was but if she's been going after any other guy that you were with what makes you think that she wasn't going to see for herself now Ruby Rose ended off her OnlyFans live by saying that the next time that she sees Lala she was going to S-L-A-P her now who when you say those strong of words you definitely have to be ready and game for it when it happens and do i feel like ruby rose is the type of female that will you know be about her word i honestly feel like you know she's about her word so you know if she sees lala again then she might you know actually do that to her now she did post that on twitter and lala commented back and said that she was going to pray for her so i really don't feel like lala really wants that smoke with her now ddg did post a picture of him and ruby rose all hugged up together and he said that he is going on his only fans live to clear up all the drama that's going on and i can only imagine what he's going to say he probably probably feel some type of way that Lala actually said something about you know him trying to get at her two years ago you know because he did post a picture with Ruby Rose and Ruby Rose is not cool with Lala right now so that's a little surprising because Lala is signed under Zooted or is she is she still under Zooted is Lala still gonna be under Zooted after this whole situation is DDG and Lala still cool after this who really knows We'll wait and see. But anyways, you guys should definitely let me know what you feel about these two situations in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching Tease Room. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. I will see you, my TTs, in the next video.